Oh my gosh, I gotta take the hat off for this one. So the Dig Dug, episode five, Stranger Things season two, might be the most emotional, story-driven episode yet. Oh my gosh. I didn't know, first off, Hop getting in the situation he was in, I thought his tail was gone. I thought, I, I mean, I still, I just can't believe that. Then, on top of the revelation with Will, and they needed Sean Axton to actually figure that out, that was amazing revelation. But then, you got Neely going, or I'm sorry, L going and trying to find her mom, and like, you find out what happened. Dude, I legit, I emotionally, man, Dude, that just messed me all up, bro. Because the reality is this woman's been suffering since. Like, they kept her in this perpetual amount of pain. She literally broke. The last thing she remembers is trying to get her daughter. And that's it. And it's like, she's reliving that. That's why she keeps, like, it, it reminds me of the whole Hodor situation all over again, man. Like, thinking about it, like, emotionally gets me. And then everything that Will's dealing with, that joint is rough. And now you're dealing with the fact that for them to take this thing out, how much it hurts Will, dude, I don't know what they're going to do. Dustin's situation is a whole other thing. And it's like now I just don't know, bro. And then I feel like Lucas is in this state of, um, he's not safe. He's not safe because telling her, telling Max and her brother knowing, like, I just don't want to see nobody get killed, bro. Like, I am invested in these characters, dog. Anyway, this is a great episode. Uh, 10. 10. This might be an 11 for me. Uh, this was the best episode so far because it emotionally got me. <laughs> it wasn't just a great episode. It emotionally messed me up. I got to take a small break. Um... <laughs> Uh, I really do, and uh, I'll be back. Keep it locked. JVS, we're going to stop. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.